Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. And today, folks, we find ourselves for the first time ever at the legendary Texas Roadhouse, which is a chain, but it's known for its amazing steaks, American cuisine, uh, incredible sides. So as you can see in the back, they're flying the American flag, they're flying the Texas flag. During the, uh, at one time, it was thought that the Texas was gonna break away from the United States. They call it the Lone Star State, known for a lot of great country music. So stay along, I hope you enjoy it. We'll show you what we eat, and we'll show you all about the inside. Hope you enjoy it. So right off the bat, you know, you can kind of get that feel, that country feel. You know, I think out of all Americans, I'd say probably Texans are probably some of the most proud people of their state. And uh, everything's big in Texas. This is a big restaurant. Uh, they're known for really big portions and steaks. We'll see what we're gonna get. But this one's up here in uh, Lakewood Ranch area in Bradenton. I'll put the address on here on this thing. So here we have Kerry. Kerry, of course, is starving. So you know how Kerry gets when she's hungry. There she goes. So here's the intro here, the little moments here. This one actually opens up late. It's three in the afternoon. It opens up 11 o'clock during the weekends. And already I can hear some country music. Let's go. Wow, look at that. Oh, they got the peanuts and stuff on the tables. Wow, a full house, look at this. Hot blossoms. All right, so the big question, folks, Coke or Pepsi? We're gonna see. And look, they give out the bread. Look at this, they bake the bread right on the premises. Incredible. Look at that. Ah, oh, what's really cool is we're coming into spring training season. So we have a, look at this, first one I've seen this year, 2024. The Pirates play up here in Bradenton. So I'm going to check out and see when the Mets are coming to town. That's cool. I'm going to hold on to that. Look at that. Well, and look at this. And here's the legendary meat that they're known for. Look at them steaks. You got the sirloin, the ribeye. 12 ounce, 8 ounce, 6 ounce. There's that legendary bread. Wow. This is really cute for the kids. You got the saddle over here. You can get back in the saddle again at Texas Roadhouse. So Carrie's starving and she's got a long line here. What do you think? It looks good. It looks like Logan's, which is in Kissimmee. And I hope it's good. The menu looks good, so we'll see. What are you going to get? I have no idea, but we'll see. I think each uh, main course comes with two sides. I might get chicken tenders. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a steak I place, but I'm, I'm not keen. I'm more keen on beef. Steak. What about the I'll sides? See what I don't know. I'll see what they have. And it is a Coca Cola place. Yay! I'm getting a Coke today. This is an interesting thing right here. If you're not sure how meat goes, um, you got a chart here for the meat. So rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well. I like things well done, but I'm not a totally meat person, so I think I'm going to get chicken, but. I know some places do one called blue, which is like barely even cooked. But there you go, there's a chart for you. So look at this, you get these, uh, these are the rolls that we saw them making when we first walked in. And you get the special Texas butter right here. And there's Carrie hard at work, looking at the menu to see what she wants. A little more view of the place here. A little Texas action going on. So there's a tremendous menu here, lots of steaks, chickens, fried pickles, ranger meals for the kids, they call it. But the legendary sides, that's where it's out. The corn, the seasoned rice. For every dinner you get two of those. You can see some of them there. And uh, just a really nice place. And if you come here, obviously, you gotta like country music because there's a lot of country music playing. So uh, you feel like you're in Texas if you come here. Uh, stand by, we're gonna see, we're gonna show you what we get to eat. Check this out, you got the Coca-Cola in the Coca-Cola glass. Carrie enjoying that Coke. How is it, syrupy or what? Good. Very nice. All right, so here's the first course, which Carrie's stealing. 
That's my salad. What do you think? Thumbs up. Yeah, it's a nice looking salad there. Regular house salad, ranch dressing. Give that a shot. Croutons. So check this out. There's Carrie's, uh, what is that again? A steak? No, it's chicken. Chicken. Chicken with like a loaded baked potato. Rice and rice. Um, my french fries are still cooking. There's your chicken tenders right there with the ranch dressing. And what I did today, and what everyone should probably do when they come here is, I didn't eat breakfast, I just had juice for breakfast, so the portions are really, really big. So that's the best thing you can do because you're gonna have the salad, you're gonna have, the rolls are really good. So with that in mind, I just had the juice. Carrie's nodding her head in approval. Not often she agrees with me. <laughs> but, once uh, in a while. Once in a while. So what I would recommend when you come here, try to have like a really, now I, I usually work mid shift or swing shift. So I'm kind of used to like not eating early in the morning. So I did that today and of course I came here. So I think it's a really good idea if you could just eat light before you come here because, you know, or you could bring it home. I mean, they're very good with that. They have boxes and all that good stuff. So. The chicken's really good. The chicken is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna dig into mine now too. So what I love, love about these chicken tenders, they call them chicken critters here, is they're cut very small. Because I like stuff well done. I think I was telling you that before when we were looking at the meat, the, uh, the steaks. But these are cut very, very small. And what that really means for me is they're nice and crispy, and that's what I love. It's terrible when you get that big piece of chicken in there and it's really not cooked. And it's kind of, you know, it's it's obviously an Elvis Presley type of chicken. It's, it's deep fried and it's got batter on it. And I'm dipping it in honey mustard sauce. So it's definitely an Elvis type thing, but it's, it's really super good. Highly recommend. So the fries have arrived and like I was asking them, they made them nice and crispy. So this is what I love, crispy fries, everything crispy. Look at that. That looks really golden brown steak fries. That's gonna go great with the uh, mixture of the ranch dressing and the honey mustard. What's interesting is this choice of music. Um, it's Alan Jackson, Don't Rock the Jukebox. Um, and it's interesting, there's a line where he mentions that he wants to hear George Jones and his heart isn't ready for the Rolling Stones. Well, this particular Texas Roadhouse is in Lakewood Ranch and Mick Jagger of obviously Rolling Stones fame had a house here that he just sold about a month ago and uh, I don't know where he moved to but this was like his primary residence because he's married to a woman who's a retired ballerina and uh, I don't know if it's his second or third marriage I don't know but they have a younger child who's about 10 or 12 and uh, they were here because her parents actually live in Lakewood Ranch but Anyway, just a little strange correlation, little historical type thing. Don't Rock the Jukebox by Alan Jackson made me think of that. Oh, and if you're interested about Mick Jagger's house, I actually did a video about a year ago, you can look it up on my channel, where I kind of get relatively close to Mick Jagger's house. It's a little off to the distance and uh, it's a little more comprehensive. So you can check out my channel for that uh, Mick Jagger house. I also have one on in Bird Key, which is, uh, of course, the lead man, Brian Johnson, for ACDC. So, anyway, back to Texas Roadhouse. So, as you might expect, too, in a place like this, the sauces are really good. I just dipped this french fry in the barbecue sauce. It's kind of, like, really amazing. It's, like, kind of like the barbecue sauce you would get if you, you passed away and you're going down that tunnel and you see your relatives and they hand you, like, a Coke and maybe some fries. And that would be the barbecue sauce you'd hope to get. Really, really good and uh, really, really special. Definitely a home run, definitely. So Dylan, uh, Ron, uh, so Dylan, we're here with Dylan, the service manager. We, we, we're here for the first time. How you doing, Dylan? Pretty good, how are you? We're doing great, we really love your place. We love the line dancing. Can you tell us a little bit about Texas Roadhouse? Yeah, so we started in 1993 and, uh, in Parksville, Indiana as our first store. We've grown exponentially since then. Um, we focused on legendary food and legendary service. We do line dances every hour on the half hour at our location. It varies a little bit for other stores. The line dancing is a real passion of ours. A loud hustle and bustle, fun atmosphere, country music. We have a good time. That's awesome, though. And you have a present for us. We got peanuts and we got a free appetizer yep, for next time. appetizer. Got our call ahead phone number two if you want to get on the waiting list. Nice. Absolutely. That is great. We really love the place and we're definitely going to be coming back. Wonderful. Thank you, Dylan. 
So that was really nice. I mean, we really feel at home here. We got a gift for our first ever visit, and it's a free appetizer next time we come back. So uh, you come in, uh, I guess this one in particular, if you come in, just tell them it's your first visit, and uh, you'll probably get one of these too. But uh, we really appreciate it. They're very hospitable, and they were glad we did a video here. And they also do a thing here too, where if you're a 501c3, which we have the Waffles Foundation, you could actually do a night where 10% of the proceeds go toward the foundation. So I might do that in the future. It might be a really nice idea to do that one day. Um, we don't really have a lot of people that we know in terms of, you know, friends and co-workers and things, but it's definitely a great idea to keep in mind for anyone out there. So again, thank you to uh, everyone there from Texas Roadhouse. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because we love doing the video. And give me a shout, tell me what you think. Definitely a wonderful place to come. So glad we came out here. Do yourself a favor, come out to Texas Roadhouse and skip breakfast because you're gonna be very well fed when you get here. All right, this is Al signing off. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.